to have some fun and learn how to grow crystals. I think it kind of puts art and science together. So I call it an artsy home science project because the crystals that we grow are really pretty looking. The ingredients that we need are household products, but you might not have all of them on hand. Of course, you have the water, and I'm gonna use distilled water because I live in the country and we have a, more things in our water because of the wells and so forth. The other thing is called liquid bluing. And uh, doesn't she have a <laughs> funny face? Anyway, it's Mrs. Stewart's liquid bluing. I had to look in a couple stores to find this because I didn't have it on my shelf. And it's very blue and yet it's used in the laundry to whiten things, which is something you can look up and see why that works. The next thing that we have is salt, and it is plain salt. It's not iodized salt, which is what we usually have on our tables. So it's plain salt, and I had to buy that as well. And the last ingredient is ammonia. And ammonia is a cleaning product, and it is very strong in the way it smells. So make sure that you have good ventilation where you're working. Because of the things that we're using, this is not for your real littles. This is going to be for your school age kids and above that can handle working around these kinds of things. And when you are done, we're going to put this up high so no little people get into it as well. Okay, so these are charcoal briquettes. You can use anything porous, including something like little chunks of bricks or maybe even little chunks of sponges. They're not supposed to be in very big pieces, so the charcoal briquettes work really well. So something porous here. And we're going to start by wetting this down. And I have a spray bottle, which works really easily. But we're gonna get these wet, but we don't want water standing in the bottom. So I'm gonna keep spraying until I kind of feel like that water is starting to puddle up a little bit underneath. If I get too much, I'll need to dump that out and get the extra off. So let's set this to the side for a moment and mix up our solution. I'm going to put it in a quart jar and I'm putting it on top of some paper towels in case I drip anything. And you do want to make sure you protect your surface. So I'm going to put in the salt. Next, I'm going to pour in the water, and there's three tablespoons of each of these liquids, and three tablespoons of the salt. Next, I'll pour in the ammonia, and lastly, I'll pour in the bluing. Okay, so now I have in there the salt the water, the ammonia, and the bluing. And you want to make sure to put all of these things in glass containers. So if you noticed, all my ingredients are in glass containers, and I'm going to mix it in a glass container, and my charcoal was set in a glass container. I'm going to use a glue stick to stir this up. I'm gonna stir it until it's all dissolved then this liquid is going to get poured over the charcoal briquettes. I can still feel salt in the bottom of this, so I'll keep stirring for a little bit. All right, we'll set this to the side now. And I'll bring back my charcoal briquettes that we already wet down. And see they're in a glass pie plate and I'm going to pour this liquid over the top of these briquettes. I'm going to try to pour it over each of these briquettes and the crystals grow on the briquettes and they grow because of this solution that we're pouring over them. It's very dark looking. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. Okay, so when I get down to the bottom, I'm going to add just a little bit more water 
into this bottle and stir it around again to get all any extra solution in there. So with all the liquid in there, we're going to put the food coloring onto the briquettes and that will get drawn up into the crystals and make them different colors. Wherever we do not put the food coloring, they'll be white or clear. But we're going to put dots of color in different places on these briquettes. I'm just putting a couple drops on each one. Okay, there's my yellow, red, blue, getting an irid iridescent look to them. With the color on there, I'm going to take two more tablespoons of salt and sprinkle it over the top of the briquettes. So now we're ready to let the crystals grow. You can see the color getting soaked up into the salt. So it's important to leave the pan and everything in a place where it can be very still. We don't want to disturb the crystal growth. So I'm going to leave it right here on my filming table and we'll come back tomorrow. So this is the crystal growth that I'm seeing after about 12 hours. I'm pretty excited. Looks like the blue and greens are winning out over the yellow. We'll see. Here are the crystals after 24 hours. I'm really liking this deep teal color in here, and I see some of the yellow, but I don't know what happened to the red food coloring that I put on the briquettes. So we're looking at the crystals after about 36 hours now, and I see more yellow over here and less of that teal in the center. Approaching 48 hours, of crystal growing and you can see how beautiful they are. It really does look like a coral reef. It just keeps evolving and they kind of grow and shrink and this one's more yellow now and less of the teal, dark teal blue in the center. But I'm going to add some more of the solution and it is two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of the liquid bluing, and two tablespoons of the ammonia. So I've got them mixed up in this jar and the trick is to get them into the pan without disturbing the crystals. So I'm going to do the best that I can in doing that, which means I'm going to try pouring them right along the side. Okay, and there's a few of the crystals that are being touched by that solution and I saw one just dissolve. A second ago so I'm don't know what this will do overnight but it raised the level of the liquid and so some of those crystals are getting hit by it and are dissolving a little bit so I'll, we'll see if it re-energizes it and what will happen exactly I'm I'm curious I've loved learning how to grow crystals and it truly is an artsy home science project for more nature activities and crafts, come on over to welcometonanas.com and join the fun.